This project is so special because I think it's been an enormous privilege for myself and um, three colleagues to work on one of the greatest recording artists there's ever been, Maria Callas. What's new about these remasters is high definition. We have remastered at 96 kilohertz, 24 bits, and the previous remasters were at 44.1 kilohertz, 16 bits CD quality. What this means is we've now got more high frequency content and we have a better definition to the sound. There's always a concern that remastering can produce an overclean recording, but what we've been so careful about in this project is not to tamper. We don't want to dehiss things where we don't have to. We just want to get rid of the technical faults, fix audible edits, for example, or reduce the rumble from a passing tube train from the Kingsway Hall, or even the noise of a motorbike um, outside La Scala. Vespers going past and we, we can hear this noise, which is terrible, terrible. It just interferes. It's louder than the singing in some cases. But with the technology we have now, we can actually reduce this noise and we can actually just give the sound of a voice without any of the interference from outside. The recording of Barbara, when we started off, Lake going by the mono results felt that it was too reverberant and his view was that the Barbara 7 was really a chamber work. Mm. So instead of using the full acoustic of Kingsway Hall, uh, he had the, I don't know whether you've got any pictures of, of Kingsway Hall, but there was a horseshoe gallery. That was draped with stuff called Cabo's quilting, which was something that the building industry used for uh, insulation. It was a paper quilting with an eelgrass stuffing, and we used to use that for damping in, in, in cases where we needed it. If you listen to the original recording, it is quite um, dead and, and intimate. But later on, somebody remastered it and added echo, and I think that was really against the wishes of... Well, absolutely, yeah. We go back to the original master tape, mm -hmm. and, and we pay attention to, to the job file where, it, if there are any instructions from the producer or the engineer mm -hmm. in terms of you know, you need to do this, this and this. I've got it actually queued up on my system here, the, the barber. So, I mean, there's a little bit of um, calluses on a book to oh, book a frog. So have a, have a quick listen to it. there that's, 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 it's just right isn't yeah. it it has to be said that previous remasterings aren't like that no we have to be extraordinarily careful in handling the tapes. Um, when we actually play the tapes on the machine as well, some of the edits will fall and break apart. It's very hard to actually get the tape in the first place to actually transfer and to get a successful transfer of it onto our computer. Once it's on our computer system, then we're safe then. We actually can then work and then restore what we've managed to capture. We were talking about Norma, so, so let's, I can play you a little bit of the, um, the cast of Diva. Does it take you back? Oh dear. <laughs> we've, we've taken the trouble obviously to go back to the original tapes, mm. whereas sometimes in the past, you know, that, that's not been done and they've just worked from existing remasters, which weren't great. But we've gone back to the original tapes and we've done a, the best possible transfer. Mm. We, you know, so it's well, a it's, higher it's, quality it's, it's, than it's CDs. It's remarkable. It's absolutely, I'm, I'm, I'm Good. knocked over. <laughs>